Tuesday. This is my first update. Yay! And hopefully you guys saw the b-roll from my trip to Chicago. I didn't really film anything while I was there, me speaking anyway, or doing any updates, just because I wanted to enjoy the time I had. So yes, that's what that was. Justin and I spent the weekend in Chicago, and it was a lot of fun, just the two of us. And I didn't really read any. I got one night with Happy Place by Emily Henry, um, and I got through a couple of chapters, but that was really all I read. And that was actually kind of nice to just kind of sit and not necessarily have to read or anything. So we had a great time. So yes, I didn't film anything yesterday either because I got home and I just wanted to hang out with my kids who had been with my aunt for the weekend and we just chilled and it was nice and we had spaghetti for dinner and it was nice and I did read a little. I have started listening to Six Crimson Cranes while also reading it. I have it with me here. Um, I am a little over halfway through, not very far, but I could probably, if I tried hard enough and didn't have any plans, I could probably finish this tonight. So the other book I'm reading is Happy Place by Emily Henry, and it's really cute too so far. I'm not crazy far into it. I don't even think I'm 100 pages yet, but it's really good. It's very Emily Henry. It's very cute, and it's very witty, and it's very funny, while also just... It's just great, it's just great. And so yeah, that Harriet and Wynne are now at the house with her, their friends and they have told them that they're selling the cottage. So it's the last time they'll be together there and Wynne and Harriet have recently broken up. They were engaged, they are no longer engaged, but nobody knows that. So they have to play, they have to play the game. So they're playing the game. And then with Six Crimson Cranes, Shiori cannot speak. She has no ability to tell anybody who she is or what, happened to her and her stepmother has cursed her and she is currently at the estate or castle I guess with um Takan who is actually her former betrothed who she ran away from and all that's how this all kind of started but he doesn't know who she is and she's going by the name Lena it's interesting it's good it's really beautifully written too and it's fun and she's got this little paper bird that is just so funny and she can talk to the paper bird because they talk through their minds because they're connected she also has a dragon that she talks to through minds because you know why not that's where we are it's really good like i said i'm about halfway through this will be for the the first prompt which i cannot sea monster fairy sea monsters fairy this is for the sea monster fairy prompt for the readathon with the fox and woods that is what i'm working towards is finishing up that one i will also say that i signed up to do a friends readathon with a bunch of people on my discord we don't have the prompts yet but we are all split up into teams so you take a quiz and you figure out if you are more alive like Joey, Rachel, Monica, Chandler, Phoebe, or Ross. And if you want to keep that, you can. Otherwise, you can pick who you want to be. Like me, I fell in with Rachel and I kept it. Even though maybe I don't identify completely with Rachel, I like Rachel. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So that puts me on Team Spaghetti. <laughs> and so we're split into three separate teams. The teams are Phoebe and Ross. Chandler and Monica and Joey and Rachel and so if you fall into a Joey or a Rachel category you're on all on the same team and with all the rest of them too. We don't have the prompts or anything yet but we've been chatting and getting to know each other a little. A lot of us are all from the Fox and Wood Discord because that's who created it. We're members of Lexi's Fox and Wood Patreon and so we're all from that. A lot of us are from that and we're having a good time. <laughs> we're sending each other fun little gifs and memes and all of that kind of stuff and it'll be great. We're supposed to know the prompts, I think they said by May 16th. And then that will probably be a very large focus for me in June is the Friends Readathon. Just like right now, my really big focus is the Fox and Wood Readathon for May. And like I said, Six Crimson Cranes, as soon as that is done, that is a prompt I can check off and move on to the next one. I'm very excited. I'm having a very good time with the books I have been reading and what I have chosen to read and all of this kind of stuff. So I will say with Six Crimson Cranes, Shiori is such a strong character. At first you think she's kind of, at first she comes across as very naive and just wants to be with her brothers. But as all of this is going on, she's becoming a much stronger female protagonist. She's becoming a much stronger female character. And I am in love with that. So she's like 17 and she's very sweet. And she wants things to be okay and good. And like I said, she doesn't want to say anything because she doesn't want to kill her brothers because if she speaks, 
one of her brothers will die. It's just a huge thing. And she's so concerned, but she also wants to still be really helpful. And it's very interesting to me. And I'm really curious to see how this is all going to play out because she can't speak and she can't even write it. If she even tries to write down who she is, like bad things happen. So I don't know, man, I guess we're going to have to see where it goes. But I'm enjoying it. It's fun. But that's really the only update I have for you. I'm going to go home after I pick up Cadence and read. Charlie's having dinner with their grandfather this evening. So I am going to have to come up with something for dinner for Cadence and I. I don't know what that will be yet, but we'll see how it goes. That's all I have. It's going to be a quiet night. I'll take it. All right, I will catch up with you guys later. Goodbye! Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of the vlog nice little bow uh, I'm sure it's actually not that long of a vlog because I haven't really had any updates because I didn't do a whole lot of reading and uh, I didn't talk to you guys while I was in Chicago so there's it's probably gonna be a relatively short vlog which is fine I'm good with that it's less editing on my part anyway so I wanted to give you guys an update I did finish Six Crimson Cranes and it was a five-star read this book is very very beautiful it is beautifully written it is intriguing. It is such a great story of commitment to family, of finding understanding where maybe things are misunderstood. It's good. It's very good. And it is a great story about family and the lengths you will go to protect the people you love. Something that was really intriguing and interesting to me is that for the first half of the book, you think one way and then you really don't find out the truth until the end of the book, the last couple chapters of the book about what's really happened and what's really going on. You're following Shiori, who is cursed by her mother, her stepmother, and is forced out of her home and her brothers are turned into cranes, six crimson cranes. And if she speaks, if she does anything, it will kill her brothers. And her past is gone, everything anybody knew about her is gone. And you think that it's just evil stepmom being evil stepmom. It's very good and it's really hard to explain because if I if I try to go too in depth with this, you're going, I'm going to spoil it for you. And I, I don't want to do that because if you haven't read this book, I highly suggest you do. It's got dragons, it's got magic, it's got beautiful cranes, it's got a beautiful setting, it's got all kinds of really great things and I'm 
I'm invested. And I've already gone to Libby and found book two and I have added it to my audiobook. So I'll be listening to that as well. I started listening to it. I'm not far in at all. It is a beautiful story about family and love and assumptions you make about people without really knowing them and how they can be completely wrong. So yeah, it's a great little story about the power of love and how it connects us and what love looks like and how it can be changed and different and how extenuating circumstances can bring family closer together. So yeah, it's it's good. There's a lot there's a lot packed into this juicy little book. So with that said, I have started reading The Foxglove King, as you can see. And this book dives right in. Like there's no real, like you're learning about the world as you go. You're learning about magic and you're learning about what people are doing with certain magic and it dives just right in. And as you can see, I'm not that far. I just started it yesterday. I've had to go back a couple times to be like, wait, what? But that could also just because be because I, I don't necessarily always have a great ability to focus. That could be why I've had to go back several times. But this book is very, very good. You are following Lore, who has a interesting magical ability. Um, in regards to Mortem, which is like death magic. And she is captured by the the king's people, like the king's army, and, and she was expecting to be burned at the stake, but they're offering her a deal about some illnesses that have been happening. Like people have been randomly dying in other villages, and it's whole villages. It's not just small amounts of people. It is it's literally whole villages are dying and they believe it has to do with the mortem magic. We are at the point where people are trying to convince her to help. I love Lore. She's so far, she's very brave. She's very brazen. Um, she's very sarcastic, which I enjoy. I love a sarcastic protagonist. I really do, especially a female protagonist. Love that love that. So far it's great. So far I'm enjoying it. Um, it is for prompt technically three, the Fox and Wood Readathon, which is the Moon Moon Dust Bakery. But I'm hopefully going to actually be able to read a lot coming up um, this weekend because it's Mother's Day and as a mother I don't I don't do much on Mother's Day except read. So that's hopefully what I will be doing. It's crazy that we're already almost halfway through May. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you have made it this far, you can go ahead and leave me a bird emoji, a crane emoji, something along those lines to go with six crimson cranes. I hope you like and subscribe to this video. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe, that kind of thing. So I hope you are having a really great week. I hope that everything is exactly the way you want it. And even if it's not, I hope it's headed that direction. This is me giving you a virtual hug, should you need one. I hope you live and love and you read lots of books and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>